This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Are you ready all ready for your brass knuckles? Because we're going to be doing some fighting! Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. In the last episode, we went through we went through Crete by flying on a balloon, by flying north, cr triangulated some stuff using our brain, and then we went inside the labyrinth and used our brain some more to uh, beat some guys. However, we're going to fight, well, some of them. I might not be able to fight all of them just because of the way that the... Uh, uh, the difficulty of the fight works in this uh, the game. So first of all, we got one encounter we're gonna fight. So let's go ahead and. Ach, an interloper. Pardon me, I'm the cave inspector. Shut up and march over here. You're not one of Kerner's men. You're that spy, Indiana Jones. Any last request before I ultimately pulverize you? Uh, yes. I'm gonna save it really quick. So let's save a fight nine. I believe I can actually beat this guy, but uh, I'm gonna lose on purpose, obviously. So, or at least I, I might beat him and then reload it. So, but uh, I'd like one last pastrami sandwich. Request tonight. All right, we got Anton here. He's uh, same power as us and a little bit more HP, but we should be able to beat him via spamming. So, I know the one way to beat them is basically to let them hit, try to hit you. We lower their power by hitting you, and then, uh... Unfortunately, I'm pretty bad about, like, blocking. I know sometimes you can beat a guy by just, like, spamming the attack, but... But that depends on the person. Some guys you just can't do that with. Obviously, I could sucker punch him, but I want to see if I can legit beat him. Awesome. We are able to beat him legit, so let's, uh... Let's make a different save here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of save files here, more than the more than in the wits path for sure. Okay, let's lose to him this time just to see what the dialogue is. So, I'd like to find world peace. Request tonight. All right, let's let him beat beat us up. So, I can't I can't fight you, Nazi scum. Oh. After flighting Indy, Anton received a field promotion. Larry led the charge on Stalingrad. The end. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's pop back up after we beat him. So uh, I think for fighting fighting uh, Anton, I think you get seven points overall. So, but anyway, now we need to fight the hard guy, Arnold himself, oh, then I go who's obviously a reference to Arnold Schwarzenegger, even though Arnold, Arnold was an Austrian, not German. But you're Americano. Come and see. I won't hurt you. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? No, any good drinking tunes? Maybe. Let me think. I could hum a few bars, but now I can't help you. Deep in the heart of Texas? Oh, hey, I that's a good one. I actually I'll be on to... your way. I actually didn't mean to. I was actually going to save it and choose the wrong answer. I, I, I pressed the wrong number on my number pad, so. Okay, let's try that again. Achtung! Luckily, this guy's drunk, so he'll let you get away multiple times. And he's actually really tough. No, any more songs? Gee, tough question. All right, let's actually say the wrong one this time, so. Nope, I can't help you. What a shame. Now I'll have to amuse myself by tearing your head off. All right, let's go ahead and save over the old Fight 9 file, since I don't need that. Since I beat the guy legit, so I don't have to do that, so. All right, so let's see if we can beat this guy. This one, this guy's got a lot of HP, and uh, and it takes a while to fight him. So you have to fight him a bit differently. I doubt I'll be able to show it on the screen because it takes me forever to do it. But I'll try my best. So Nurab Sal won't like that. Oh, the devil is Nur. What's his name? He's a ghost, I think. You think? One minute from now, you'll know for sure. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, one smack from him, and you don't get much time to like see. Like, there's you're supposed to be defensive, so you're supposed to like block and back up and stuff like that. The problem with fighting uh, Arnold is uh, if you back up too much, you run away. So it's the game basically saying, hey, if you're not if you're not good at the fighting thing, try the wits version of the path to get past him because he's actually kind of tough. But anyway, after flattening Indy, Arnold went on to become a world famous opera singer. The end. Uh, and there's another difficulty with this fight. I'll show you. You'll be whistling a different tune pretty quick. Yeah, top. 
Okay, let's try sucker punching him. Ha! That dirty American thing on work on me. Uh oh, that, that doesn't work. Ha! You might as well give up. Yeah, unfortunately, for whatever reason, we're we can't. Um... Ha! Yeah, well, for whatever reason, it won't up. like every other character in the game lets you sucker punch him, but for whatever reason, you can't sucker punch Arnold. So, yeah, I don't know why they he's the only character who can't do that. I guess because there's an alternate path. That's why it won't let you one-shot him. So, yeah, it's the only only time you can't sucker punch a character in the game. So, I'll try it one more time. But if not, I'll continue on with the, the, the Wits version of the ending. So. You'll be whistling a different tune pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. Let's try uh, saving right here. That, that's the if, if we weren't if we were playing a different system you wouldn't be able to save it every other second that's just a benefit of this system that i'm using i forgot how it worked in the original game but you know. uh, yeah even though i blocked it i still took a, quite a bit of damage oh yeah it's just it's because like one or two punches takes you out so yeah i'll i'll try to get off screen or maybe i'll do a bonus episode trying to beat him but i will not be able to beat him right now it takes it would take me way too much concentration and i couldn't really commentate while doing that because i don't i'm not good enough at the game to do that so we'll just do the wits version of it if you do end up being arnold legit you get 10 points to, for your iq but like i said i'll make a save there so that way i can remember to come back another day so but anyway, in this version, and Arnold gets killed no matter what you do. If you pull, push the rock on him or punch him, I guess you punch him so hard you kill him or something like that. So anyway, let's uh, look at Arnold now. Hmm, there's an amber fish on a string in his pocket. He also had a couple of orichalcum beads. I'll put them in the box too. Okay, so what this fish is, is when we played the previous in the Wits Path, you had to create your own uh, dowsing rod, basically. This amber fish is this version of it, so you didn't have to create it yourself. You could just grab it. It's not pointing anywhere. Okay, so what this is, is this is going to help us find Sophia. And we need to find her because she she has something we need. Um, so we have to go into every uh, different rooms with the, with a the pit. <laughs> oh, whoops. I meant to... Come on, door, move! Well... Either Atlantis is a lot smaller than I thought, or I've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it, in three concentric circles. Okay, well, I wanted to actually have Sophia here for this, so let me reload it again. Sorry about that. I, I, I went, I, I just, like, went into auto mode and went, walked into the room when I actually didn't need to do that. There's an amber fish on a string in his pocket. He also had a couple of orichalcum beads. I'll put them in the box, too. Okay, so anyway, we, actually, let me do it again just to make sure. It's not pointing anywhere. Okay, so Sophia's not in this room. So instead of looking for Alicalcum beads, we're looking for Sophia. And the reason we're able to use this is, I believe, because of her uh, pendant. It's not pointing anywhere. Okay. Basically, any room that has a pit or opening like this is what we have to walk into uh, to find Sophia. Well, that's funny. It's pointing downward. Okay, so she's in this room. So by doing that, we get, I think, three points? Or no? Uh... You get 10 points for sure for finding her now we get uh we're gonna get uh six points for doing this so how do we get down or right, let's take a look it's too dark to see anything down there now yeah, perhaps we could put something in there thanks i guess you finally got on kerner's nerves huh i don't want to talk about it but look what i found down there it's the world stone sternhardt nabbed in tikal very good, Doctor. You're a lovely person, Sophia. You know that? Uh, but yeah, if you were playing the Wits Path, uh, Kerner would have had it on him, but we didn't. it wasn't there this time, so. Say. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Thanks. I meant to talk to her. Sophia. Yes? I forget. Do stalagmites go up or down? Hmm. Up, I think. Yeah, the way the the way you're supposed to know is stalagmites uh, go up from the ground and stalactites uh, come up from the ceiling. The, the way you're supposed to know is stalactites hold them tight. You know, as as in they're grabbing to the ceiling. That's how you're supposed to remember that phrase. Do you think we're lost? Who knows? I'm too lost to think. Some date, huh? We are not dating, Jones. This is not a date. If it was a date, I would have stood you up. You know, you're not such a catch yourself, Sophia. 
What do we do now? Let's keep looking for a way out of here. Follow me. Lead the way. Then again, there are some guys who like like ladies like Sophia, you yeah. know. I was like, I don't know, man. That would uh, that would grade on my nerves really quick. Uh, Sophia. See, she yes. has extra dialogue for different rooms. Not Follow me. Lead the way. I didn't think she did. Okay, well, anyway, now we need to go into the room where, um, uh, out uh, where Arnold's area is, so. Come on, door, move! Well, either Atlantis is a lot smaller than we thought, or we've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it in three concentric circles. Huh. All right. And yeah, this is if we were on the wits path, we would have came in from this side. So it's the same thing as before, except obviously the puzzle solution is different. Sophia. Yes. What do we do now? I sense we're close to our goal, but unless we find a way out of here, we'll never reach it. Okay. Follow me. Okay, Lead the way. So now that we've saved Sophia and we have the world stone, we now can use the uh, spindle here to get our solution. See what happens if we look at it. Looks like it was made for the stone discs. Okay, wait, wait. Let's use the sunstone, uh, moonstone, and world stone in this one. Okay. So let's look at let's look at Plato's dialogue and see what the solution is for it. So to approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well with Darkest Night soon to rule the Western Sea. Final entrance yield only to contrary minds. Okay, so this one's a bit uh, like before. This one's a bit a bit weird when it comes to how it works. So the way it's supposed to work is we're supposed to do. Uh, oops, it's not that one. We're supposed to do Rising Sun. Oh, so. The way it looks is technically the solution is the Western Sea, New Moon, and Rising Sun this way. But the uh, but the way we're supposed to do it, or the way it's supposed to look is like this. So, you know, Tall Horn, Setting Sun, Full Moon, East Sea, and then West Sea, New Moon, and sun, Rising Sun. Because the word you would think darkness, so you think, oh, the Tall Horns need to, you need to put like New Moon and Darkness here. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works, the way that the wording says it yeah it's a bit it's a bit complicated when you think about it. like we actually got an easier one when we did the wits path but on this one it's a little bit more different so that didn't do anything oh wait that's no oh uh let's see oh i might have okay right wrong one <laughs> whoops that didn't do anything oh maybe i maybe i missed uh hold on that didn't do anything. Let's see, now that should be the solution. Maybe I'm maybe I'm getting a little, little weird. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's see. That didn't do huh. it. That's supposed, the solution is supposed to be basically the opposite. It's supposed to be the. Oh no! It's the. Ah. Uh, okay. Never mind, I think I... Whoops. There we go. Sorry, I, my brain, I was like, wait a minute, that's supposed to be it? I was like, I swapped rising sun and setting sun. My bad, folks. And I think when we did this last time on the witch path, it opened up to here instead, which took us to the train. However, we're not going to the train this time because remember how we skipped, uh, I think it was Terra or whatever from before? Uh, yeah, we're, we have to go a different path this time. But yeah, sorry, I, I was like, I was like, that's the solution. And it was like, oh wait, I had Rising Sun and Setting Sun swapped on, on the dialogue on it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Oh wait, actually, does Sophia say anything? Let's see. Sophia. Or does she have any yes. new dialogue? What do we do now? I think the open door is showing us the way. Okay, I was just follow me. I just wanted to see Lead the, the extra way. dialogue, so. Alright, let's leave. I hope this is the way out. Uh oh. I better not lose the Yeah. <laughs> the game always makes sure you pick up the stones before you leave, so it's one of the few consistencies of the game. Like, uh, yeah, you need this. 
it's to prevent you from getting a game over because in original in original point and click adventure games they would actually let you do that they let you leave items behind that were required and so you could get to like near the end of the game and found out you forgot to do this one thing or grab this one item you had to and hopefully you had an old load save if not you had to play the game all over again yeah some old games were really bad like that it was uh, pretty heinous when you think about it so but anyway uh let's see hmm, different from yeah when we were on the wits path we dealt with the train but now we're looking at these weird stones let's take a look at that Actually, is it Sophia saying anything new? Uh, Sophia. Yes? What do we do now? What about this stone pointer? According to the inscription, the arrow on this pedestal is pointing north towards the lesser colony of Atlantis. The nearest landmass up north is a volcanic island called Thera. Well then, that's our next stop. Follow me. Lead the way. You actually don't have to ask uh, Sophia for the solution to that. You can just figure it out by looking at it yourself. The arrow is definitely pointing towards Thera. Yeah, see, that's all you have to do is you just have to look at it, and that's all you have to do. So, all right, let's walk to the exit. Let's move on. But yeah, if you ask Sophia, she basically straight up tells you what you need to do. So, yep. Yeah, let's go for Gnosis to Terra instead of before, where uh, you'll recognize Terra as soon as we land on it. Yeah, remember this place on the Wits Path? We came here first when we landed on the balloon. Or, sorry, we had to get here the balloon. Here we are, Thera. The whole island is the rim of an extinct volcano. There's a Greek scholar named Maranathos who claims the place exploded in 1600 BC and wiped out civilization all over the Mediterranean. Kind of like Krakatoa. Exactly, only bigger. Maybe it wiped out Atlantis as well. It's useless to speculate. What's our plan? I don't know. No, uh... But yeah, we had to come here for the wits path to get the balloon to chase after the the uh, sub. But on the fight path, we go kind of almost an opposite way when it comes to comes to this place. So I don't know. What do you want to do? I think Atlantis is somewhere out there underwater. I think we should hire a boat. Sometimes it's funny to make Indiana Jones act like an idiot. Sometimes just to just to have the game tell us. Listen, Sophia. What's on your mind? What if Atlantis was vaporized when Thera exploded? Nurab Sal knows the Lost Kingdom still lives. Oh, by the way, you get two points for um, looking at the pointer and heading to Thera, by the way. Where do we go from here? I don't know, but we better decide pretty soon if we want to beat the Nazis anywhere. You can't beat the Nazis. Wait a minute. I wonder if that fisherman knows anything. Why don't you ask him? Yeah, let's uh, talk to him. I mean, I know what I need to do, but let's talk Ahoy to him. Ahoy there. Ahoy yourself. If it's salvage work you need, I'm your man. No job too big, no job too small. Salvage man, huh? But yeah, last time we were here was that guy uh, at the, the shop or whatever, but... Have you seen any suspicious visitors? I did see some German gentlemen a while back, but not recently. Hmm. This is a pretty run-down boat. Watch what you say about old Bessie here. She may not look like much, but she's got what it takes. Run down? You'd best apologize, mister. <laughs> but yeah, never never insult a old sea, sea dog's uh, ship or whatever. <laughs> it's too ridiculous. Sorry, old girl. Old? You call her old? Why, she's younger than you are. Now goodbye. Whoops. <laughs> no. Ahoy there. Let's hear your apology. Sorry, I can't do it. It's too ridiculous. Is that so? Now goodbye. No, we had to apologize to them, otherwise we need to Ahoy something, there. something. Let's hear your apology. Sorry, Bessie. That's better. Now what were we talking about? I forget. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it was pointless. You ever hear of Atlantis? Of course. And dragons and mermaids and... Uh... So you think it's just a myth? I've heard tell that down in the tropics they've got fish that fly, so who knows? Okay, well anyway, we need them to actually take us... Uh, to the location however we need some stuff before we uh head over there so yeah see the shop isn't there before that guy selling the air balloon isn't there so it's completely different so i like the fact that the game isn't exactly the same i mean there are some similarities between the paths but it's not the exact same like you know you swap certain characters around certain locations you know and it, it gives a lot of replay value you know for for a game like hey! this hey where are you going <laughs> I just, uh, she's so annoying. Anyway. I'm off to see the sights. I'll wait here. 
Okay, yeah, she won't explore with us. Good thing. She, she would, uh, uh, she would get a little annoying after a while, so. All right. Let's go. Let's see. Let's try the cleft first. This is like before. There's three areas. There's a cleft, the notch, and the gap. So we have to try one of them. So we'll see which one is the one I need to go to. If the screen changes, it'll be the one I... Because it's random which location I, I walk into. Nothing here. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll change it to the screen if, if that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, this is the one. It, like I said, it's random every time, so... Okay, yeah, this is... When we were here with the uh, on the Wits Path, we actually had to go in here, but uh, as you can see... Looks like the collapsed entrance to an underground chamber. Who knows, maybe it led straight to Atlantis. Well, on the Wits Path, no, but on, on this path, we can't use it, so... It's a plain old empty wooden box. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, don't even have to use. This looks like a natural gas fissure. Now the problem, the problem with some of these paths though, is that all this stuff that you can interact with always makes you think that on this path, if you tried this path first, like maybe we had to do something with the vent. But no, you can just ignore it. The only thing we need here is this. It's a tire repair kit. Yeah, so let's uh, pick that up. So tire repair kit, huh? It's a German army truck with a missing tire. Kerner must have been here. Ah, nuts. So we have to, uh... We have to, uh, find a way over there. But yeah, that's all we needed to get here was the, uh, the repair kit. So let's go back to the docks. Just gotta walk on along. Walk on along. Okay. I am back. Hey, Sophia. Listen, Sophia. What's on your mind? See what you the I wonder what Kerner found up in the hills. I've read there were tunnels connecting Atlantis to her colonies. Maybe he found one. Looks like we're in a real race. Ah, uh, don't worry. I think we'll be fine. I wonder if this guy has ever salvaged anything. Put it this way. I don't think he's ready to bring up the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Titanic? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I was thinking for a second, I was like, when did the Titanic wreck? It was like, yeah, this is after it, so. All right, first of all, let me look at Plato's di Lost Dialogue. I need to look for some numbers. Okay, so, uh, so Glorious Atlantis found two colonies. Lesser, which is where we're on. Uh, okay, north of the city. So, okay, I was looking, I'm looking at... We're supposed to give directions to the um, ship captain to help us find Atlantis, so I need to make note of the numbers. And like before, this is random, so if you you can't really use, unfortunately a lot of my guide, I can only tell you how to find the solution, not the actual solution. You still need to look at the book every time you need to solve the solution of the game. So, okay. Uh, so 18 south. Gotcha. Okay, so let's talk to the- Ahoy there! You again? What do you want? Oh, the reason why I said eighteen is that we're using so, uh, so, uh, we're using Plato's dialogue to find Atlantis via the boat. And the way you're supposed to know about uh, the solution is that you're supposed to be aware of Plato's error, which is tenfold, which meant he always added ten to his uh, or time uh, times ten to all of his solutions. So you need to, which we find that out by doing the Wits Path, if you or if you beat the game. But you also learn that from reading it too and when talking to certain people. So you need to basically do the opposite of what what Plato did. So we need to reduce the number and we need to change the direction of it is what I'm, what, how I'm supposed to get the, the number I'm looking for, so. Can you take us to Atlantis? If I knew where it was, I could. Where exactly do you want to go? Okay, so yeah, we want to go 18 miles from here. 18 miles from here. In what direction? And then we need it to be south. South of Thera. Do you know where that puts us? Since you don't seem to know, I'll tell you, in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, so also we need his diving suit too. Um, do you have a diving suit or something? Yes, but there's a hole in it. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yeah, f I'm fine. Yes, of course. All right, Mr. All-American Explorer type, let's find Atlantis. Just remember, if it sank like they said it did, I claim the salvage rights. The salvage rights to Atlantis? Well, all right. I've asked you lovers. We've arrived. Are you sure? 
exactly where you wanted to go. There's a diving suit in one of the lockers. The rest is up to you. Aren't you going to help? I'm against helping anyone into an early grave. From now on, you're on your own. Uh, thanks, man, I guess. So, anyway, since we asked him about the diving suit... Or maybe I need to ask him again for it. So, okay. Let's see what else is on this boat right here. Anything we can interact with other than the captain? There's the air compressor. Hoist. Let's see, we got Sophia air compressor, air hose, hoist. Okay. And storage locker. Let's take a look at that. It's a convenient place to stow things. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Ah, there's the diving suit. Actually, let's see if we can. The captain has anything to Hello. say. Hello. What can I do for you? Are you sure we're in the right spot? I'm telling you we're right where you people wanted to go. Yeah, it said uh, it was. It went by really fast, but it tells you the direction you you gave him. So give us a few more minutes, if you say so. All right, and I don't know how we're paying him. We're paying him for something. Hey. What is it, sailor? Okay, that was that was pretty hot. I mean, uh, uh, hey, Sophia. If we've found Atlantis, I'll bet it's waterlogged. Don't look at me. I didn't think it. Think your old pal Sal would be proud of us? Sorry, I'm not in contact at the moment. What? What? I thought you were always in contact with him. Well, what do we do now? I guess you better try out that suit. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's pick up the uh, punctured diving suit. It's too heavy to pick up and move around. All right, well, let's take a look at it. It's an old diving suit. Uh-oh, there's a small hole in it. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to use the tire repair kit on the diving suit. There, good as new, almost. Because what the the tire kit is supposed to uh, uh, put puncture, or it's supposed to put a temporary fixture on a. Most tires you can temporarily fix them, but they're te they're technically not supposed to be a permanent solution. They're supposed to be temporary till you can get a new tire because of the way they're built. But some uh, solutions are put in like a rubberized, uh, uh, well, uh, like a. It's like a rubber solvent or something that you can put into the tire. It's supposed to line the t the the inside of the tire to he seal up any holes in it to keep it uh, around for a lot longer but most people suggest just changing your tire out completely if you get a chance but anyway we get five points for repairing the diving suit so okay let's see where's the compressor okay there should be a switch yeah i need to look at that this must be the compressor switch all right let's use that okay that should turn it on oh yep now we can hear the uh, okay, so now we also need to use the hose on the suit. Okay, so now we are good to go. So, let's use the suit. I can't move at all in this thing. You'll have to get me into the water, Sophia. Okay, so now we're playing as Sophia, so... I hope this canvas relic holds together. Yeah. See if we can say Can you hear me okay? Barely. Is it hot in there? Yes, hot. Do you really think we're over the right spot? Let's not stand here, let's find out. He's getting annoyed. Just wanted to make sure you're comfortable. Comfortable? It's about as comfortable as a coffin. Here we go. Okay, so now we need to use the um, hoist with Indy. Watch that hook. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're dropped into the water. Yeah, I like, I like this part of the game. Like, hey, what happened? Don't stop. Atlantis is right below me. Uh-oh. What's that shadow pulling alongside the boat? Kerner! Perfect. Another slimy creature oozing up from the depths. Now, now, Fräulein Hapgood, I have no wish to shoot you. Don't make me change my mind. What mind? I see you've acquired some bad manners from your friend Charles. Where is he, may I ask? Back on Thera. You'll never find him. Really? What do you say, Captain? I brought them both like you told me, Herr Kerner. I tried to keep Jones from diving, but he's a very determined man. Now he's a dead man. One rude archaeologist is quite enough for my purposes. 
I've got maybe three minutes of air in my suit. Better start hiking. Okay, so this is a very good spot to save um, on this path. Uh, so we'll call it Fight 11. Why not? So uh, we are now out of air. And he, I think he actually is right. I think it's like three-ish type minutes where he run out of air. So we need to find the right um, uh, cave. And it's random, unfortunately, which cave we have to actually go into. So we just need to search each cave until we get to Atlantis. So let's begin searching. I re also another reason I saved it there is because I want to load it back ah, up. Sure feels good to be out of that diving suit. Amazing! I must be hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible. Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. Wow, we found it the first try. <laughs> I didn't actually expect that. It, 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 basically, it's any one of those caves could have been the entrance to Atlantis, but we already... We already found it, so all right. Uh, well, that was that was lucky, I guess. All right, so before we call it an episode, let us see what happens when you take forever on the ocean floor. Unfortunately, like I said, he, say, he says it takes like three minutes. I don't know if it's actually three minutes. I know your your air will eventually run out. So actually, let's see what happens if we check other caves. It's been a while since I've actually nothing. Okay, yeah, he just says nothing as you look around. How far does this go anyway? Like I said, it's been forever since I've done this, so like, uh, like explored the place. Usually, I find the cave pretty—I wouldn't say instantly, but pretty quickly. So nothing. Yeah, he'll just say nothing every time, and then you, <coughs> and that tells you he's about to that you're getting close, and he's about to die. But after that, the game basically goes back to standard mode which means no matter what path you're on as soon as you get to that entrance that i'm at the game basically is the same i will play bits and pieces of the final area because there is a few tweaks that are differently and i also want to show what happens with uh the ending slightly Let's see if there's anything more past this point nope okay uh but yeah the base atlantis itself is pretty much the Just same a couple of minutes left where's that entrance now the actor, voice actor is actually trying to show off uh, worry while uh, doing that. So uh, I don't know if I want to sit here for a whole three minutes. I'm trying to think what else to really say. I mean, I could cut to when we actually actually do it because there's not much to actually do down here other than clicking all the all the cave entrances and whatnot. So um, yeah, overall, I, uh, I I forgot I forgot how much I kind of enjoyed the fight path uh, with how straight up it is. And, like I said, how different it is from the the wits path overall. <gasps> Up, we're almost there. Yeah, he's trying to hold in his breath to make it last a little bit longer. But uh, like I said, I like how the game how, how the three paths actually are different from each other uh, up to a point anyway. Because like I said, Atlantis is the same. The only difference points in Atlantis is how you can get earn some points is different. Although I think you could earn the same points via any of the paths. It's just I didn't want to do it on the wits path when I first did it, so I'll show off. Um, getting the points on this path i think i think his models actually no maybe i'm wrong i thought his model was acting a bit weird like another minute and i'm a goner you know i should have i actually do when i record episodes i do actually set a timer when uh uh to make sure i'm like roughly where i want to be i should have been paying attention i think it actually is three minutes uh because it's actually pretty close i think it was two minutes since i started the uh two or three minutes since i started the uh uh since we started this part so i think it is almost three minutes till you die kind of like what happens with a uh, um guybrush three blood in uh, monkey island when uh it, it takes him what what he said he can hold his breath for like what do you say like 10 minutes and actually in game if you wait 10 minutes <laughs> if you wait 10 minutes he actually does drown like uh, like uh, like to almost not to uh, like the specific second but pretty close and i thought that was pretty impressive i think i showed off that when i record that so a long time ago man that was years ago too it's crazy i i do hope to eventually record all the lucas arts games um i did grim fandango as part of another uh like uh day of, not uh day of, not day of the dead did i do it for day of the dead yeah i did do it for day of the dead but uh i do want to eventually do a full playthrough uh one that's it better start holding my breath okay it looks like indy's almost almost out at least the game gives you pretty much a lot of clues to say hey you're about to you're about to pass you better find this thing 
Although, it shouldn't take you three minutes to, like... Because we already looked... At, I went through both screens and checked every... <gasps> almost checked every cave by this point. So, yeah, it shouldn't take you three minutes to... I just save it just in case, like, for some reason I have trouble or something like that. But... All right, we almost... You almost done, Indy? I can only entertain the folks for so long. They don't want to have oh, any more of my sass. Only a few seconds left. All right, we almost got it. Okay, that's more than a few seconds. Come on. Expire. Oh, I feel so sleepy. Ah, me, 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 me. Expire already. You're really dragging this out. It's like a comedy bit or something like that. Unfortunately, Indy couldn't hold his breath as long as Guybrush 3 put. <laughs> oh, nice. I, I forgot they actually referenced that in there, so the end. All right. So, unfortunately, in this uh, alternate reality, Indiana Jones drowns, but uh, another Indiana Jones was able to make it to Atlantis. So, what awaits us in Atlantis? How many more people do we have to fight to save this thing? And it was, has Sophia been getting on your nerves, too? We'll find out what happens next time. And then, the, well, I guess in the last episode of the fight path, because, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.